the Expert Advantage Real Estate Show with Blake Sloan. Blake Sloan, one of the top real estate agents not only on the Grand Strand, but in the world. Been featured in Forbes Magazine, The Wall Street Journal, NBC, and many other publications. And now, the Expert Advantage Real Estate Show with Blake Sloan. Welcome to Blake Sloan Real Estate Show. Brand new show this week. First of the year. First new weekend of the year. Last week was one day in the new year, but this weekend... First real weekend of the year. We'll talk about all kind of crazy stuff going on in real estate right now. We're going to obviously review the data from 2022, look at the highs, the lows, really kind of looked at what happened here in the Myrtle Beach area. Just recap what's going on, what happened, and most importantly, uh, looking kind of forecast about what do we look for here in the real estate market in 2023 here on the Grand Strand. Just based on data, what's happening, and obviously the, the national data um, along with interest rates and things that are driving um, what's happening here locally. We'll talk about that. Uh, the brand new numbers are in from last month and um, they're down, down 50 plus percent. Last month alone, sales down 52.5 percent, uh, which is wild. And uh, it's kind of going the last two months of the year, we saw a 50 percent decline in sales uh, with the first week of the, the, the month when we're seeing the new data come out. Um, I do think we'll price that drop a little bit around the 49, 48 percent once all the sales get entered. But that's something to really worry about, right? 50 percent drop in sales. Here's the crazy part. Prices have actually gone up. And so uh, they continue to go up the last three months in a row. That has to do with what we talked about many, many shows ago about inventory being low and how that's protecting price. And something that we'll probably see, though, I do think we'll probably see those prices soften a little bit uh, unless we see rates drop back down here uh, pretty soon. We'll talk about uh, some amazing, amazing success stories. Our team absolutely crushed it last year, last month, all the way up until uh, New Year's Eve. And then we've already started hitting it, selling multiple properties every day since the first of the year, um, which is awesome. So we'll just share some horror stories that other people had and really how, how we were able to help save them uh, from that. Our investment firm just bought two properties, uh, cash without ever those properties ever going on the market, uh, one in Carolina Forest and also a condo up in North Myrtle Beach. We'll talk about that and uh, how we're able to offer more than these so-called investors out there and get our clients in and out with a fair price, which is awesome. One thing we'll talk about, it's been a big thing, but if anybody listened to the show for a while, I've been doing this and using this for a while, is artificial intelligence. That's a big thing right now and something that we've been using for a while. And we always joked about using high-level artificial intelligence, why most agents try to figure out Microsoft Outlook. We've been steps ahead using that data and technology to reverse engineer the right type buyers for your property. We've taken that to a whole new level lately, and we actually just posted that on our website. And I'll talk about that uh, in today's show. And we'll also talk about interest rates and why it's a good time to sell in this early, early market before spring gets here. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you. Uh, you heard the personal endorsement here by uh, back by uh, Sean Kennedy, also by our core friend Gary Levant. What about yeah, that was just totally unprecedented. Now that's one thing, but the other thing is is that Blake has trademark systems for both home sellers and home buyers. They are trademarked, so we can't give you all the details, but more than happy every week to tell you the most important part of that system. Yes, and that's the whole DNA why we do this show. I think 12, 13 plus years in the show. We've seen so many ins and outs and horror stories and changes in the market and Things going down, things going up, back and down and back up again. And so uh, it just comes down to really what's the purpose on this show? And the whole purpose.